So let us look at some sample configuration and we shall start with Cisco. Spanning tree is enabled by default. Depending on the switch, it might be pavilion spanning tree, in which case you can select MST, which we highly recommend. You say spanning tree mode MST. And then you can set the bridge priority to 12288 or 12K. In some cases, the all you might have a switch that can only do pavilion spanning tree. So you have to say spanning tree, VLAN 1, priority, and you set a priority. And you have to repeat it again for every single VLAN that's configured on that switch. To enable port first feature on access ports, you can say spanning tree, port first, default. For HP, you must enable spanning tree explicitly. HPs would come with spanning tree disabled by default. Um, so then you set the priority. Now in HP, you don't set the priority number directly, but you set a multiple of 4096 because um, I guess they wanted to make sure that people don't pick some random number. So if you say priority 3, that is 3 times 4096, which is 12K. To disable the port first feature on the trunk port, because in HP it's enabled by default, you have to say no spanning tree and then the port number auto edge port. Juniper, you must enable multiple spanning tree. So set protocols MSTP and then you set the bridge priority in this example to 12K. Um, the configuration allows you to just put a K, which is 1024. Then you configure which ports are going to participate in multiple spanning tree by saying set protocols, MSTP, interface, then the interface name. If you have a long list of ports, then you can use the wildcard command, which will allow you to set multiple ports at once. So wildcard range and the rest of that command will create set protocols mstp interface commands for interfaces 0 up to 3. For Netgear, you must enable STP globally and on each port, similar a little bit to Juniper. So from the web interface, you go to spanning tree, you click enable, you click multiple spanning tree, then you go to CST, you set the priority, then you go to the ports and then you, you enable spanning tree on each port. On the command line, you say spanning tree and then spanning tree MST priority zero and uh, zero is the main instance. And then you set the spanning tree in this case to 24K. Then on the interface, you say spanning tree port mode to enable spanning tree on that port. 